morning, it's, uh, you know, it's me, I'm a dirty bird, and, uh, you know, I just want to say, uh, good morning, uh, welcome to Haiku Friday, it's not going to be able to make it this morning to do Haiku Friday, so, uh, you know, I think I could handle it, I've got a little reading problem, but I'm working on that, so, again, my name is Dirty Bird, and uh, let's get started with Haiku Friday, okay? Let's kick it with some Haiku Friday, just during Dirty Bird, because May ran into uh, some difficulty. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do this. This one is for um, uh, Paul. Paul who's a, a really a talented guy. Among uh, many of his talents is uh, uh, writing some haikus. So, uh, let's get started, okay? Let's do it. Let's check it. I, what if a monster was the size of a building and a butterfly? <laughs> Whoa, that's... Oh, hang on. Oh my. Dirty Bird. Dirty Bird, what? What are you doing? I, I gotta go. Gotta go, everybody. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, oh. Continuity problems. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa. Hey. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Haiku Friday. You know, Dirty Bird uh, pushed me in the, it pushed me in the, um, the fish pond out back. And, uh, and you know, Dirty Bird, uh, saying don't be coy as you pushed me in the pond, that's not any excuse at all. So anyway, hey, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to Haiku Friday. I saw we had um, two viewers uh, starting out this morning and then we um, we lost them all. I don't know. I guess, you know, Dirty Bird, I think the ratings are in for you and they're not good. They're not good. All right, uh, you know, I, every once in a while I try to do, um, try to up uh, the production values in Haiku Friday, and then uh, I spend at least 10 minutes preparing for something like this, and then it just doesn't ever pay off. All right, here we go. I think Dirty Bird already read this one, but I'll read it again. This one's from Paul. What if a monster was the size of a building and a butterfly. Uh-huh. Maybe that monster would be something like Mothra. Maybe, I don't know. All right. Thank you, Paul. Wunderbar. Um, we have a couple from our Palestine. Um, I've always wanted my own Adirondack chair. Some time to myself. Yeah, well, you know, it could happen. Could happen, Steam. Uh, Adirondack chairs. I suppose you'd want one made out of wood, which is the best of it. They sell the knockoff plastic ones, which I don't know. Seems to they seem like they kind of miss the point. All right, a second one from Steam. Steam. Uh, from out of nowhere, you dive and swoop, black, white, blue, magpie. I've missed you. Yeah, you know it's funny. Magpies used to be sort of a pest, right? But Man, I get so excited when I see a magpie now. Um, yeah, that was a good one. Thank you. This one's from Rico-san, In Memory of Godfrey. Rico-san writes, To witness a life restrained by ruling forces, finally set free. Oh, that was nice. Thanks, Rico-san. We have a few from our pal, Ericus. Phantom lover mine, you're the shadow I can't shake. Turn things upside down. Hmm, nice. And uh, another one from Ericus. A world traveler, evolution of mutants, the ninja virus. Um, thank you, Ericus. Yes, hopefully our uh, ninja virus will be subsiding soon. But we can make it subside, can't we? 
We could do that. We have the power to make things better. All right. Uh, here's one from me. Now, a little setup. I don't want, you know, I have the advantage of hosting the show, of setting things up, right, for myself. I'm not, but if people send me things like Rico Sons, I'll set theirs up too. So if you have a haiku, you want me to set it up a little bit without maybe, uh, you know, explaining uh, some ancient, uh, like, Grecian war, you know, that kind of setup, Just small setups. My setup. So, as you might know, our house got hit by a car two months ago, over two months ago. And things are kind of go. things were slow with the insurance, but, you know, kind of like how insurance is. And during one of the correspondence, the insurance adjuster, I think he's an adjuster, he hasn't come out to do any adjusting. They just give that to contractors to look at now, I guess. But he uh, called me Mr. Griffith and, and a thing, and I, I informed him that the name Maeve was a female name and that I was a transgender female. Oh, I think I just said female on it. And uh, that cut off all communication with him. And I said it nicely in lighthearted fashion. Wasn't being a dick about it, but he, um, I suspect from where this insurance office is based that there's probably some ideological problems with a person such as myself by someone like himself. So instead of just, you know, saying, sorry about that, moving on, or not even saying sorry about that, addressing my issue that I wanted to say, he, um, he just didn't ever respond to anything ever again until I got the insurance commission involved. And then he responded a couple times with many pleasantries and many Mrs. Griffiths in it. But anyway, so I started thinking, what is the problem here? And that's what my haiku is about. Basement hole remains. Adjuster hates me due to my own basement hole. Okay, uh, I guess that's it for Haiku Friday. Uh, if you like the Dirty Bird thing, I can do more of that. If you really despised it and found it distracting and really hated everything about Dirty Bird, I, I can do more of that. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Haiku Friday. Thanks to Paul. I think that was your inaugural um, haiku. And I will see you all later. Love you. Bye. Oh, I had this bathrobe on because I thought I could put a ring around Dirty Bird's neck, but that didn't work out very good. All right. Bye.